And so you said you're talking about the month before big payday, like uh, October 19th through November 2019th, kind of maybe what will happen then. Yeah. What are you, what is it? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that if there is a plunge, like not, not even the plunge is not the right word. If there is a drawdown of any kind around November 19th, let's say that November 19th comes and then uh, it's big payday and all these people have their, uh, all these Bitcoin free claimers have their stakes unlocked. Um, and all these people that have their coins, you know, their, their coins are unlocked and they can, they can let it go. Let's say that there's a small drop on November 19th. I don't think that's a guarantee, but let's just theorize that there's a small drop and maybe it continues into the 19th, the 20th and the 21st, maybe two, three, four days after those days, whatever bottom it puts in right there with, I'm going to assume that very shortly after big payday, if it is in a decline, this is all theoretical. If it's in a decline that, I believe it's going to put in a bottom that it will never return to in those days. Mm. Yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, after the, after November 19th. Uh, yeah, I think that like, uh, so, so with the free claims, I mean, those free claims aren't just on that November 19th because they are staggered out is depending on when they free yeah. claim, they have to have at least yeah. done 350 days. So, I mean, they're going to be staggered out for the, for a long mm -hmm. time. I don't know how how many people free claimed the first couple of days. I know it was a lot though. It was probably at least one percent of what you know. We're at like two point seven percent right now, or something like that. And I know yeah. at least like probably one percent free claimed on the uh, first four or five days. So it's it is going to be a lot. But yeah, I, I I agree with you. I think that it is going to bottom out fairly quickly uh, mm -hmm. because. Uh, even I am probably gonna buy some after that. When that, uh, when it, <laughs> if it if it dumps, if it dumps, I'm totally going to. And I know other people that are planning on buying some too. Uh, at that yeah. time, won't get as good a share rate, but uh, no. Uh, but I think that uh, coming up to it, I think that we're gonna see a lot of people unstaking, emergency unstaking, uh, to get further to further their shares, to get a lot more shares. I mean, it it, it makes sense because. There's a lot of people that are emergency and staking right now to make it longer. So I, I see it every day when I go on on and I'm looking at people or when we go and see emergency and stakes, you can see people that are that were staked 351 days and they've done 180 of them and they're like, oh, crap. Now I need like I've done half of it. Now I'm going to emergency and stake. So I think that some people are going to let those things, you know, uh, they don't care about the share rate as much. And they're going to wait until uh, just a few days before that emergency has taken, then maybe stake for longer.